Hello YouTube, it's your boy Superverse Man coming at you with GT Sport. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell so you can see all my videos and enjoy. Okay, so this race was gonna be a good one. But it turned out to be a bad one. So let's watch. So he was hitting the brakes more than I needed to and stuff, so. Not a big deal. It's a good battle going on. Doing real good. Staying behind him, I'm fuel managing, still sticking with him while fuel managing. Look at the fuel difference already. I'm fuel mani managing, he's not. And I'm still keeping up with it. Okay, so you see that? I almost messed up there. <clears throat> almost messed up. Got off the gas a lot. Still sticking with him. So because of the fact that he's not fuel managing and I am and I'm right behind him this was going to be a really good race I was about to like if when we went in the pits I was going to come out before him because I'm right behind him and I got a lot more fuel than he does He kept taking that turn wrong too. This guy said he was on fuel setting 3 the whole race, but if he was on fuel setting 3, he would have probably the same amount of fuel as me, not that much less. the whole race I'm thinking he must be fuel managing too. Like, he's got to be saving fuel somehow if, if I'm keeping up with him when I'm saving that much fuel. Still behind him, still behind him, still battling. I love that, like, the fact that he took that turn wrong every time, I loved it. Because it, it let me catch back up. Doesn't shoot. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is the big one. <laughs> so that first one, I caught it, and then this one, like out of all places, how did I lose it there? Watch, the, watch the gas. Watch, watch the gas. gas bar. I got onto the gas so far. So, so, so slow. Let's see if I went off track. 
Did I go in the grass? Is that why I spun out? Let's see. No? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I think that's crazy. And then it wouldn't put me back on the track. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? Everybody's passing me now. And that ruined what could have been a really good race. <clears throat> so, everything I did there makes it really weird that I spun out there. The weirdest thing ever. I was like three quarters of the gap, three quarters of the gas pedal pressed all the way down, and I spin out there? Of all places, there. <laughs> Oh well, I messed up, I guess, I guess. I don't know how I messed up, but I guess I messed up. I mean, I spun out. Like, I definitely was... I wasn't full throttle. I was three-quarter throttle, and I was slowly rolling into the three-quarter, and then I was slowly rolled into pow full power. But for some reason, I spun out. Now watch. I take the turn the same way, and I don't spin out. Actually, I, I took it. I took it careful that time. <laughs> I was like, "How did I spin out there?" I was like, "I know I didn't touch the grass." Usually, with this car, when you when you do start to lose control, it's easy to catch. So I don't know how. Like I spun out like as if I hit the grass. Like. That was a hit the grass type of spin out right there. But I never hit the grass. I hit the apex, which is supposed to help you have grip. It's not supposed to make you lose control, it's supposed to help you keep control. Anyways, I think I did it. I think I did it more aggressively this time, because the first time I was like, how did I spin out there? Let's see if we can focus on the gas, on the gas bar here. No, I took it easy again. But that time I touched the grass. <laughs> I remember what I was doing. I was trying to figure out what the heck I did. So every time I got to that turn, I was like, did I do this? Did I do this? Like, what did I do? And then I saw the replay, and I'm like, what the hell did I do to spin out? Like, what, what, what happened? Like, I was trying to figure out what the heck kind of mistake I made, and I just, I didn't see it. I didn't know what I did. Like, the first two, the second two times, the two times after that, I was trying to spin out. Like, I tried to see what I did. And it just, when I was purposely trying to see what I did, I just wasn't spinning out. I, I was like, what the hell? And sometimes, like sometimes in the middle of a turn, in the middle of a race, the game will pause itself. And it's like, if the game can do that, then maybe it could make me spin out there? But I don't know. Let's let's see how I took this turn, even though I was behind this guy. Oh, I went full throttle way too quick on that one. 
<laughs> it still didn't spin out. I'm like, this guy needs to get out of my way. And I was like, come on. I'm supposed to be in front of you anyways. Just come on. Get out of my way. Like, dude, you're holding me back. Move. <laughs> I could have been catching fourth place by now. Nice clean pass. He went out wide, so I took the inside. dropping back, I'm catching fourth. Just sucks, I probably would have been in fourth if I wasn't stuck behind him. But a lot of people would have just tried to find their way, tried to force their way around it. Like, what I do is, I wait for the opportunity, I don't just force myself. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to force yourself past somebody. I mean, every once in a while, I'll just say, fuck it, I can't stay behind you. And just go around. But, that doesn't happen that often. I try to respect everybody just the way I would want to be respected, but... No, but a lot of people just don't care. Like, look at my fuel compared to everybody's. I still have more than a quarter tank. Everyone's below a quarter tank. Everyone in front of me, that is. So I'm like, okay, I got this. I was like, okay, this race, I'm gonna fill up more than I need so I can catch back up. I came out of the pits, I was 18 seconds behind first place. When I finished the race, I was 4 seconds behind it. So, pretty much I would have had this game in a bag if I didn't somehow spin out on that turn. It was the weirdest spin out I've ever had. Like. I never really say that it wasn't my fault, but this one, I don't, under, I don't understand what happened. 
Like, I kept watching the replay, and I was just like, what did I do? What happened? And, and the weirdest thing is, I didn't feel it happening when it happened. It just happened. <laughs> I didn't touch grass. I didn't go full throttle. Like, I just don't, I didn't turn the wheel too hard. I didn't, like, there's too much stuff that I didn't do for that to be my fault. <laughs> I mean, at first I was like, fuck, I just fucked up. And then after seeing the replay, like, over and over and over, I'm like, what did I do? What did I do wrong? Because usually I like to find how I made the mistake and not do it again, but I couldn't find what I did wrong. I just miraculously spun out. Also, I had the fastest lap in, in this group with these people. Stuff you went in the grass. Ooh, ooh! I was like, "Whoa, good driving! <laughs> nice job, not spinning out." But he's that, thats thats something I really can't understand. Watch, just just look at this. So he messes up. He messes up, he goes in the grass, cuts back on the track, hits him, and he gets a penalty. I don't understand how that could happen. Like, come on game, you know he messed up. You know he messed up. You know that he was supposed to get the penalty for cutting back on the track right away. But, alright. Like, that wasn't even me that got the penalty, but when I saw him stop there, I was mad for him. I was like, how does that make any sense? <clears throat> Anyways, the arrow right in front of me, there's two arrows in front of me. The first arrow that's in front of me is first place. I, I believe. Like, I'm still far ahead, far away from him. I must have been like 10 or 11 seconds behind him still. But yeah, poor, that poor guy. <clears throat> Reverend 
feel so bad for him. I don't know how he could have got a penalty for that, but that's just, this game is just so backwards. I don't know why. It, like, who programmed this? Whoever programmed the penalty system needs to be fired or something. Because this is horrible. Whoever programmed the penalty system needs to be fired, and they need someone else who's smart and knows racing. Because whoever made this penalty system is... I'm glad he doesn't make the rules on the road, because somebody could run a red light and smash into the side of me, and it'd be my fault. Like, <laughs> I'm glad he didn't write the road rules. The road rules in real life. <clears throat> the whole rear-ending rule, it's the person who rear-ended the person. That's bullshit, too. That's a bullshit thing in real life. Sometimes it's a good thing. Like if you're sitting at a light and someone's texting and driving and smashes into you, yeah, it's their fault. But some situations, like when I first, like two years after I first started driving, <clears throat> I had a guy cut in front of me and I honked at him. And he slammed on his brakes and I hit him at 8 miles an hour. He had a, a pickup truck with a tow hitch. And the only damage was my car's front bumper having a square from the tow hitch. And this guy was the biggest asshole ever. He calls the cops out. Tells the cops he wants to make a claim for the damages. There's no damage to his truck. There wasn't even damage to the tow hitch. He just being a dick, and then he tried to tell the cop, Oh, he rear-ended me when I was sitting at the light. I was like, no, that's not what happened, officer. I was like, officer, what happened was, he was in the right lane, there was an ambulance, we all went to the right lane, and then I left the right lane, went to the middle lane. I started driving, the right lane was still going slow, the pickup truck decides to cut in front of me, so I'm already on the brakes, like I'm already, I'm already avoiding him, and as I was avoiding him, I, I honked the horn, and he got mad that I honked the horn because people don't like admitting a mistake, so I honked the horn, he didn't like admitting a mistake, so he slammed on the brakes. But mind you, I'm already on the brakes, <laughs> so I couldn't slow down any any quicker. <clears throat> and it ended up being my fault. If I had a dash camera, it wouldn't have been. But whatever. He, of course, he's gonna believe that 50-year-old asshole over an 18-year-old kid in a Lexus IS 300. So, oh well, but yeah, I'm glad this guy didn't invent the rules for driving on the road, because this penalty system is retarded. Anyways, I caught back up. Still didn't get first. <clears throat> but, would have been a really good race if I didn't just somehow randomly spin out. Let's go back to it.
Let's see if I went off track. That's the first thing we're going to check for. Still on track. Never touch the grass. But it was a spin out as if I did. Never touch the grass. I didn't even go that far up on the on the thing. I didn't even go far up on the apex. Let's see when my tires start squealing. Let's see that. What the hell? <laughs> it's so funny. Inside view. Whoa, whoa! See, it looks... It's a, the exact situation of if you were to run into the grass, or touch the grass. Like, this is exactly what would happen if you touch the grass. Now let's see my gas. Let's see... Let's see how I hit the gas. The gas bar. See how slow I went on the onto the gas? I don't I don't get it. Watch watch how gently the bar goes up. <laughs> you know, like can can you tell me what I did wrong here? Like just keep watching it and try to figure it out. Because I can't. Like when I first started losing traction, I was at like 70%. So I would love to see what you think happened. I, w I would love to see what you think. One more time, one more time. Yep. One more time. Let's let's see how, how the brake how the gas bar works. <laughs> okay, first First of all, let's let's check out the braking. The braking bar. And then the gas. I started spinning at 70% of the pedal press. It's the weird it's so freaking weird. I don't know what I did wrong. Gentle on the brake, gentle on the gas, spin out. As if I hit the grass. Like, that's the same thing that would happen if you hit the grass. Alright, YouTube. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, watch all my videos. Have a good night, good day, good morning, and I'll see you next time.